All right, welcome to the channel, Putty Mod. What do we have on the bench today? Not good. All right, we're gonna show you the difference between aftermarket parts and factory parts, and what you probably really don't wanna do when spend your money and kinda of like throw it away. All right, this is the original factory bearing. It's a Koyo bearing. This is your outer pinion bearing. There are 16 rollers here and the pitch angle is uh, correct, of course, because it was designed for this Honda differential. And this here is an aftermarket Timken bearing. It has, you know, difference in rollers, uh, different in, differences in dimension. Um, you can see here, you know, it's not as heavy duty. It's just not right. It's not really, it, it fits, eh but not really that great. Uh, here's your inside bearing, your big bearing, factory bearing. You have 16 rollers here, or, or yeah, I think it says 16 rollers. And this is your Timken bearing, which has 15 rollers. Not as good. Also, not as heavy duty. And, you know, you can see the difference here. There's definitely a physical difference between these bearings. And this rear end failed. Uh, just wasn't set up properly. Inferior parts. It had one of these aftermarket collars that you can put in yourself, DIY. These really paper thin shims, which distort, and that's what it did. It lost its preload. Improper setup. Ruined a really nice set of gears, which is a shame. They're not broken, just completely worn and gone. Just terrible. Yeah, I don't fault anybody for trying to save some money, but if you're going to do that, do it, do it right. Don't use aftermarket junk. Use something good. A crush tube would have been better than this thing, but that's just me. All right, we'll get it put back together, get it done right this time, and make this thing go down the road the correct way. Stand by.